All right, what's going on, everybody? Man, it's your boy Jay in the building. We're back again with another video, man. All right. Now, I'm not going to say there's pressure for Jackson State to go undefeated this year. I'm not going to say that because at the end of the day, football is football and it's any given Saturday. You know, but I do believe that there's pressure for, for them to not only win the SWAC and go back to the Celebration Bowl, but to possibly win it. There is, I do believe that there's pressure there. I also believe that there is pressure for Jackson State to come out and win this game. And not only win this game, but to win it convincingly. Because if, 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 I, if I'm going to be honest, they're going to be favored in every single game. They are. So what Jackson State is going to have to do early is establish dominance. You know, look. Like I said before, fam, you know, Jackson State poses a different threat to, you know, than what Carolina did. And I do, well, you know what? Let's just start with their offense. Jackson State's offense is, I believe, is, gonna, is more explosive. Matter of fact, they're going to be the most explosive offense in the SWAC because they, their, their receiving core alone, I believe, is, is the best in the SWAC. And it's going to be a lot different than what family faced last week because they had Josh Downs, the only receiver, and, and the rest of them were tight ends and running backs that really killed family. It was only one receiver that killed them. You know, and this game is going to be entirely different because Jackson State, I believe, is going to just spread the ball out four wide, five wide, trips, bunch, Double tight, like they're gonna throw a bunch of different formations at FAMU. And what FAMU is, is gonna have to do on defense is communicate. They're gonna have to make sure they communicate because Jackson State offense is gonna be different. They're gonna be different from last year, especially with a new offensive coordinator. Now, I do believe that they are gonna try and establish the run game, you know, because I think that was difficult for them last year not only because of the running backs they had but because of the of the of the off of the line that they had now it's going to be different because Jackson State is coming in with a possibly with a brand new off of the line and with with some more with new and better weapons at running back you know so I do believe Jackson State is going to try and established the run first but for the most part man even if the running game don't work the passing game really is what got them in the celebration bowl because if Sidora Sanders has time mind you he got sacked 30 times last year which was the most in the swag and they still made it to the to the celebration bowl so imagine with not only great protection but for him to have four, five seconds in the pocket and he's able to find his receivers, because my, look, the receivers are, are gonna be open. There's gonna be at least one receiver open every play. He's just gonna have to be able to stand in the pocket long enough for him to find it. And if that happens, it's curtains for family. It's curtains. And, you know, if Isaiah Land isn't, available fam you is gonna have to blitz because with isaiah land he poses a good enough threat to where you can rush four and five guys and it's good enough pressure to get back there without isaiah land you're you're talking about possibly you know not having you know blitzing two guys but leaving your secondary you know vulnerable so fam you is gonna have to figure something out because jack state is gonna be a totally different fight and let's speak about the defense now you know uh albie miller and, and, and simon craig are gonna set a big tone on defense you know what whether it's Aubrey Miller stopping the run or Sammy Craig coming in with a big hit and blitzing off the edge in the backfield. You know, Jackson State 
is good. on defense, they're going to have to win their one-on-one -on -one battles because the majority of the time, they, they are going to blitz. Like, there are going to be more times than not, they're going to be in cover zero, cover one, and they're going to have to establish their dominance. And I know Jackson State is coming to this game saying, look, we're better than FAMU. We may not have to throw a bunch of different coverages at FAMU in order for us to win. They can go in there and play strictly man the entire game, but I don't believe they're going to do that because Jeremy Musa is a real good quarterback. And with, with Jeremy, with it only being his second start, though, look, they're going to have to throw a bunch of different coverage at him. You know, not only cover one, cover zero, but cover three, cover two, cover four, cover three match, cover five. Like, you can throw a bunch of different coverages at Jeremy. And look, it's going to be times where they're going to have to disguise their coverages, where the cover two look it could turn into cover four. That cover two look can turn into cover three. You know, <laughs> that cover zero look can turn into cover two, you know? So they have a bunch of different things that they should throw at Jeremy just to throw them off, you know? But I do believe that Jackson State has guys that can get in the backfield without blitzing. Like, they don't even have to blitz in order to get in the backfield because I do believe Jackson State has that many weapons on defense to where they wouldn't need to blitz. But I do believe they are going to blitz a lot. And they're going to put Jackson State in uh, in a state where they're going to be playing man the majority of the time. You know, but um, I definitely want to see what Travis Hunter looks like. This is, I mean, look, Travis, this is going to be Travis Hunter's first college game. And this is with him coming off a of, off of injury. So I'm going to be real interested to see how he looks come Sunday, if he does play the majority of the time. Um, Shallow Sanders, I'm sure, is probably not going to play. So we're probably going to see some Jalen Alexander, going to see some Gregory Great. I know John Huggins is going to be out there. K-5 is going to be out there. Nugget going to be out there, you know, and with, you know, Simon Craig as well. So there's going to be enough love in that secondary for them to go around. So. They're all going to see some interchangeable pieces in the secondary, you know. So, we're going to see what happens, man. But I do believe Jackson State is going to display their dominance. And they're going to have to. Because I do believe if Jackson State wins this game convincingly, I'm talking about in double digits, it could be trouble for the rest of the swag. Because if Jackson State can do that to FAMU, it could be curtains for the swag, man. But I can't wait to see what happens, man. This is gonna be this is gonna be a very interesting.